I'm getting a cramp in my foot. <laughs> Hello everyone on the internet, I'm Katie. And today I'm going to be doing an awesome video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing the on the go or like rushing or like quick and easy makeup, hair and outfit. Now, if you can't really tell about me talking fast, I actually am on the go, like knowing me, um, you usually just film this and act like you're in a rush, but really I've got half an hour and then we're going somewhere, so I'm actually going fast this time. And also, if you cannot really tell by my voice, I'm like a bit sick at the moment. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with my face, um, but uh, yeah, for my face, I'm just gonna be first for my hair. I'm gonna be tying it out really quickly just to get it out of my face because we don't want none of this hair in our face. I just do like that and then just sit it up there like this, so then that's out of our face. So now I'm gonna be taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and popping that one just underneath basically everywhere we're gonna be, sorry, where I'm gonna be putting my. I'm gonna put in my what do you call it? Concealer. <laughs> I keep like just messing this up. I don't know, you know what I'm doing this. But yeah, um as you can probably tell if you've watched my videos before, if you're new then hello. <laughs> but if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I don't really use um foundation for my makeup. I just um I mainly just use concealer just because like I don't know, I just I don't. So I'm just gonna like putting this primer just basically like underneath my eyes, on my nose a bit, and on my chin, just like that. And now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I love this stuff, it's so good. I've tried other concealers before, and they have creased underneath my eyes, but this guy just like, does not crease at all. I love it. So yeah, just dabbing this one in my fingers. I feel like my fingers are like the best thing ever because they're just like you can move them the other way and they they just like you know they just go there and it's just so nice to pat it in and everything like that. So now that I've just put this one in, okay, it's a little bit better. So the bag had to cover it up. Oh, okay. Look at all these pimples. Oh, I hate it. Let's just take a little bit of this concealer and pop this one on here. Just on my nose a little bit because I don't want any of those like blemishes popping up. And I forget why I put up my chin. I think I got some, oh yeah, I got some people on my chin, but it doesn't really matter to me. Just gonna this one in. I'm just gonna see how long I've got you left. Ooh, there you go, 25 minutes. <laughs> and that is everything. And also I've already put on my outfit, so that's easy. I feel like putting on your outfit um is like a priority to put on first because when once you've done your makeup, you don't want to like put your white top, which I'm wearing my top. Um, like all over, the get, you'll get all the makeup from your wipe, so get all the makeup on your face onto the wipe top. I just feel like it's better just to put, I don't know. Okay, so now that I've covered up all my imperfections on my face, I'm gonna be now taking some setting powder. And I'm gonna be taking this little brush that looks like this. It's really cool actually, it just fits perfectly under here. I'm taking some, oh yeah, sorry, it's called it's um, Stay My Press Powder, which I haven't hit the pan. It's very depressing, but. Yeah, just pop it like just go like that and then just like sweep it under my eyes. Like my ears are like so blocked, it's disgusting. Because I'm so sick at the moment. I don't even know what how I got sick. It just like came over me in like two days or whatever and I've just like I woke up this morning so sick and it's just disgusting. So yeah, just got like blocked nose, um ears just like they're like it's not really like more hurting my ears, it's just the like it's blocked it's disgusting but i'm just gonna like spare you guys with the details and just keep doing this i don't even know where i went over this because i didn't even put anything there but all right let's just keep going put it back to where it's belongs well i'm also like sitting right in front of my my drawers also comment below if you want to see me do a makeup um collection because like i'll do that okay next to add some dimension to my face, I guess, I'm going to be taking my bronzer from this, oh this is what I'm going to, what I'm going to show you guys it. So from when I bought some stuff, I bought, oh, sorry, I bought this Chi Chi Contour uh, Light, oh sorry, Lightening and Contour Palette and I actually 
Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Like, yeah, so like I personally think that this one is like better than the Anastasia. Even though I have I haven't actually got that one. I just feel like this one is so much more pigmented and I don't know, there's so many more colours and this is what it looks like. I just like oh my god, I need to buy this when I saw it. And it's just so pretty, like everything's just like perfect, you know? And I don't know, but it just has so many more shades. It has my banana shade that I'll use for underneath my eyes, but I didn't today, but whatever. And then there's like this is a really like nice grand tone and it's just beautiful this is such a pretty highlighter like oh my god look, i'm gonna swatch it for you guys put my finger in there like that oh you probably can't even see it but like let me just put it on me maybe you can see it there you can see it there yeah i don't know but i just love this palette so much it's gorgeous gorgeous and it was like 18 bucks or something i'm like oh mm, god that's cheap compared to like the anastasia one which is probably, I think it's like 60 something dollars, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to be taking this one, which I'm really happy about this purchase. And I'm taking this one because it's so like good, it's such a good shadow shade. And I'm also going to be taking the same brush and just popping that one on the brush. Just like this. And then going on to my cheek brush. Next thing I'm going to be doing is my cheeks, I guess. But I don't really want anything on my cheeks. So I'm just going to be taking some highlighter. So I've just got this... Back Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter and with that same brush, this is like the best brush you guys with everything. Probably that one just on here. I don't want to use the one from that palette because that one's super shiny. Jeez, oh, I put it on my face and I look like flipping angel. It was just like Next I'm gonna be taking my doing my eyes and I'm gonna be taking this Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm not gonna I don't have time to um, do that, but I'm gonna be taking that and popping that one on my eyes, just an eye base, I think. Anti crease eyeshadow primer, there we go. I'm popping that one on my eyelid. I think I have a small mirror for this. I wish if there was a big like mirror in this, I would like die because it'd be amazing. I want to show you guys a really big purchase that I bought. I, would... I bought the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Yep, yep, I did. I did get it. You guys have this just like it actually tastes like chocolate I'm not gonna lie I have tasted it before I'm not gonna come try to cover it up I have licked the eyeshadow before and it tastes like chocolate it just tastes good well not really like chocolate I must say but it tastes like just like sweet stuff now I'm taking my Too Faced chocolate Bar palette and taking the plainest shade like the plainest one you can find basically and I'm just gonna be popping that one like just through my crease basically so I'm just gonna find a brush it's this one from the Real Techniques base shadow brush and just taking which color are you gonna take? I want like the normal straight up one okay milk chocolate which is like this color right here and just gonna be taking that one and just popping that one just in the crease like just here I'm just blending that one out a little bit they are actually so pigmented like I did not expect that at all they're like super pigmented like these colors it's amazing I'm so sorry if I've been out of focus this whole entire time. Um, but like, it just smells so good. You could just eat this whenever you're hungry. Just like get a little shadow and that's your snack, I guess. Next, I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler. Just a simple one. This one's from Avon. No. It's from Mary Kay or whatever. And just curl my eyelashes. Okay, this is another purchase that I bought. And it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm popping that one just on my eyelashes. It's like the best mascara ever. And it's not even waterproof, which I actually like. Because whenever I use waterproof, it's so hard to get off, obviously. And I don't actually like that. I like, at the end of the day, take it all off and the what mascara comes off with it. That's just me anyway. I'm just putting on mascara. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is put on some lippy. And because I don't like wearing lipsticks, I'm just going to be taking something. Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Okay, what I'll usually put on... Oh, here it is. Sorry, it's right here. <laughs> it's baby lips, you know, classic. Baby lips, obviously. How much time do I have left? Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. This is actually so quick and easy. Like, this is, like, so quick. Okay, so this is the makeup done. I didn't actually do my brows at all. I just, like, left them like this. But this is it. You don't have to do the eyes either. You can just do it with the eye, eye shadow. <laughs> that was so cool. Let's go. Yeah, and it's just like this. You don't even have to put anything on your cheeks at all. You don't have to put any highlighter or anything like that. You can just do mascara and out the door. Because I can... Now I'm going to be showing you my hair. And I just got out of the shower. I thought I should tell you that. Oh, 
And uh, when I go in the shower, I need to wash my hair, but I was like, I don't have time to the greasiness. Oh, it's disgusting. So, of course, we're going to brush it. And then we're gonna pop in some dry shampoo because my you don't have to do this either. Obviously, you can just take your hair like this or tie it up or braid it or whatever like that. But I thought it'd be pretty fun to just do some curly whirly. So I've got this curly one. It's muck Kelstick. And I'm just gonna turn it on. Oh, I love it. I love I don't know why it is, but I like filling it until it's really hot. That's really weird. And it's also cool because it comes with like this little stand. Right here if you can see it. Yeah, and it just like, so it like stands on the table and then this part doesn't even like touch the table, it's great. So like put it on there, it doesn't even touch, you guys can't see right now, but it's not burning the table. Just oh, I can feel it heating up now, yeah. <laughs> oh god, so annoying. Okay, so basically let's just do some dry shampoo first because anybody got time for that? And like I didn't have time to like... See how white that is? Look at that. How much fun is that? Yeah, I'm just gonna like walk around with this white pile of dog here on my head. Yeah, totally. And then I just rub this into my scalp. <laughs> it smells so good, this one as well. See, look, the whiteness is gone. But um, this one smells like this is the VOS, no, VO5, sorry. VO5 Refresh Me Quick Dry Shampoo. Oh my god, it smells like fruit. It's so yummy. So yeah, just like rub that in your hair like this. Mm, look at that. Oh my god. Okay. All we really need to do is just tie this because like, you know, the middle part. And this is the easiest way. Yep, that's burning. Okay, great. The easiest way to do it is really just to take your hair, put it into a hair tie, just like this. Doesn't matter what the hair looks like. How much time do I have? 10 minutes, guys. In minutes, and then I'm gonna show you, and then I'm out the door. Like literally, I'm out the door. Let's turn the hair up. So now we're gonna be taking the my hair and parting it into two pieces. This one right here, they're already kind of like wavy a bit in them, but um, yeah. And just curling it. Oh, you should be actually curling it back all down. God, listen to me for advice about hair. I'm so scared because like I'm looking in the viewfinder of my camera and for some reason I just don't trust it that it's showing me like the accurate thing, you know, I just like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just scared that I'm going to burn myself because it's not going to be like the right way. Okay, so that was that half and you can do whatever kind of curl you want but like honestly I just wanted a little curl in my hair so this is perfect um, but I'm just going to go over it a little bit because I really want this top part to be really bold. Blonde? What the hell? Really like burnt. Really curled. Oh god, I'm sick. See, like I'm so close to it. I just don't even trust it. But yeah, I just wanted some texture, so I wanted some big ones and some small ones, so I just like split it up into like five pieces or six pieces or whatever. And then yeah, so yeah, but you can just split it into two and just do it there, and that's like the exact same thing, and that'll be so much easier just to do it like that. But so now you just like look at it and just like make sure you're happy with it. You can obviously see one piece right there in the middle. That's not done. So you can see right there. This piece is not done. I can like hear it happening right here, but it looks so far away in the viewfinder. <laughs> okay, and then once I'm done this piece, I guess I'm done. And I'm just gonna be like taking it out and then prepping it up a little bit. So there you go, I've got some little curls going on there, and I don't like it when they're like ring, wrinkled up. I'll wrap. I can't even speak. I like way prefer it if they are um, like just nice waves, but yeah. We've got five minutes left, guys, and I think we've made it. We've made it in time. Yeah, so basically, we started at four, and now it's 4.25. So, so, yeah, we've done pretty good. We've done a whole look in. Half an hour, 25 minutes, and this is great. We've done our hair, makeup, and outfit in half an hour. Okay, so now I take my hair out, and it's a little tiny bit wet because I did obviously. Oh my god, my legs are like killing me. Parted from the middle now with here. Okay, so this is how it looks at the moment. Um, nice little curling. I know that there is some bits like this piece right here, which is not curled. 
And then over here there's some pieces. And I wouldn't suggest going overboard with a brush because it's gonna make it like, like really fluffy. But I mean, it's pretty how it's like curly at the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey you, can I learn your flavor? It's